If you've been keeping up with my channel, you'd know that I recently adopted two little girls. If you didn't already know that, I'd highly recommend watching the adoption vlog first. It was honestly very exciting. But in today's video, I'm gonna be introducing the two little girls to the two older girls that I already have. But first, I wanna introduce you to each of the rats so you know their names and a little bit more about them. So we're gonna start off with the older girls. This right here is Sprout. Sprout is definitely the most dominant rat that I have. With her and Dumpling, she definitely takes charge and Dumpling's like the more submissive one in the relationship. Here we have Sprout's sister. This is Dumpling. She was so, so shy when I first got her. I really had to put in a lot of time like individually with her. Sprout was always much more willing to like come to me and be on me while they were free roaming, but Dumpling would always sort of hide, but she's definitely gotten so much better. Now let me get the younger girls. Here we have Willow, one of the younger girls that I just adopted. Willow's exact description from the breeder was a Russian blue roan Dumbo. Her back is definitely much lighter than when I first got her, and that's gonna keep molting, I think is the word. She's so adventurous. Every single time I have her free roaming, she somehow ends up where I don't want her to be. Here we have Sage, and she's a beige Dumbo Dwarf Velveteen. So she's gonna stay much smaller than the rest of them. She's also so, so shy. You can probably tell the color is so similar to Sprout. They're very, very similar. Just so you know, I'm showing you all the rats so you can meet them, but I'm actually filming this after I introduced the rats. When I first got the little girls, I kept them in a total different spot in my house, far away from the big girls so they could properly quarantine for a little over two weeks. The first step of the introductions is gonna be putting the big girls in the same room as the little girls. Not side by side, but just across the room so that they can start to see each other and have the sense roaming around. I've cleared out a space right here on top of my dresser. I just moved all my plants over. Okay, I moved them in place. So it's been exactly one week since I moved the big girl's cage into my bedroom. The little girl's cage is right here and I'm gonna move the big girl's cage right next to it. So they'll be much closer. Obviously they still won't be able to reach each other, which I wouldn't want to happen, but I wanna get them more comfortable with each other before I introduce them. Hi little cutie. That's ratty number one and number two. This one's so, so teeny. She's also very shy. Like the shyest out of all the rats. You can see, you know, she ran away. This one, of course, is still shy. You know, I'm still working on socializing them, but this little girl is much more willing to come to me, to come on my hand and stuff like that. I moved the cages closer beside each other and they've been like this for over a week. They've been here for a while. And I've slowly swapped out items from each of their cages. I started with igloos, with the bridges, the wooden bridges, and then I started switching some of the litter. So I'd mix in some of the little girl's litter with this big cage and then vice versa, just so they got used to each other's scents. The day has finally come where I'm actually gonna start introducing them. I just wanna make it clear that this is not a tutorial on how to introduce your new rats. This is my first time introducing rats. If you've watched my previous rat videos, you know that these bigger girls, these were the first rats I ever had. And then my most recent rat video, I adopted two younger rats. First, I'm gonna start by introducing them in a neutral space here in my washroom bathtub. I'm gonna lay a towel down on the bottom of the tub. I'm gonna put the little girls in first, just so that they can kind of get used to it. Here we have Sage. There you go. Hey little one, let's stay on top of the blanket. Come here, come here. And then I'm also gonna sprinkle in some treats. Oh my gosh, she almost jumped up. Holy cow, I didn't even anticipate that. All the videos I watched, none of the rats ever did that. Oh my gosh. Don't. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Because I don't want them running wild around the washroom. Now I'm going to grab the bigger girls. Okay, I'm going to put Dumpling in. Willow's like obsessed and like running around following her. I hope that's not annoying for her. Willow's like up in their business. Like, she's not afraid. <laughs> I feel like Sage is doing really good too. She's yeah. so scared. She's usually very timid. She's like a third of the size of Sprout. Okay. Sage is just chilling in the corner, munching away. Aww. Aww. Come on, be nice. 
The rats have been in the tub here for about 30 minutes now and it's been going well, nothing too bad's happened. So now I'm gonna put in a small carrier for them to smell and go into if they'd like. Dumpling hopped right in. Okay, there goes Willow. It's been 40 minutes of them roaming around. Now I'm gonna put a little sage into the carrier as well. It's crazy how Willow's like one of the young girls, but is still as dominant as the older girls and will like stick up for herself and go and follow the older girls and kind of be annoying to them. You can see like, I don't know what she's doing, but she's going so out there. Trying to climb their face. Yeah. <laughs> So if you saw my previous video where I picked up a new Double Critter Nation, this is the cage I had for ages with my bigger girls. But of course, when I got the new girls, I needed to upgrade the cage. I also just need to upgrade the cage in general because this is not big enough. So I was just using one of the layers instead of the double. But of course, now that all the girls have been combined, I want to use both layers. So I put the original bottom on. And to deal with the sort of bedding issue, because these Critter Nations don't really have a deep bottom, we took a trip to Home Depot and I got this concrete mixing base bowl thing. Um, some people left comments. I really, really appreciate all the tips you guys leave me. You know, I really do go out and pick some stuff up. Someone also mentioned that hardware stores have other good stuff like tubes, so I, actually picked up PVC tubes. I got a bunch of different angled ones and I'm gonna link them together and put this in and see if they like to hang out in there. But while we're installing this cage, I thought I'd give you a first impression to see if this actually does fit in there properly. Okay, I've sanitized this before I'm putting it in, of course. Okay. Oh, so, do you see this wall coming off? <laughs> um, does it fit? It's tight. Maybe it goes straight down, straight down. Cause it's almost there. Okay. Okay, I think that's down. Will these close? Oh, they do, right? It's like, it yeah, pushes yeah. in on it. This will work. Okay, okay. We just need to put the top on. So we've got a fully empty, clean cage. I'm gonna add in the bedding, then I'll add in the rat's carrier so that they can hop out whenever they want. Of course, while they're in the cage, we wanna make sure they have water. So I'm gonna add in two of the bottles. Okay, they're all very curious as to what's happening. <laughs> They're all free they running around. Out. I'm gonna sprinkle in some of their food, the Oxbow Essentials adult rat food. So it looks like both the little girls, Willow and Sage, have basically just stayed on top on the sides of the cage. I'm assuming to get away from these bigger girls. Sage has seriously been up there for a while um, and Willow just went up after their last little squeak fight that happened down here, which of course we didn't intervene in, but just observing them up there makes me so sad. I don't feel like super confident just letting them all be together tonight. This was the first day of them being introduced, you know, physically together. So I'm thinking I'll put them back into their regular cages and then another day I'll introduce them again to sort of keep that going and not just force it all to happen in one day. To kick off day two, I did pretty well what I did on the first day, but I didn't do the neutral territory to start. So I started them in a carrier together for about 30, 45 minutes before I moved them into the single level of the Critter Nation. The little girls did hang out on the bottom of the cage. It obviously wasn't perfect. There was still some dominant action going on. You can see Sprout pinned down Willow, and there was some aggressive grooming happening. But once they all start to settle down, I slowly added things in. I added a dog rope and a triangular hammock at first, and they were a big fan of it. All the rats ended up going on the hammock. You can even see, like, Dumpling's legs and half of her body is just not even on the hammock, but she just wants to be there so bad. They seem to all be really calm, chill, sort of sleepy as well. So this is how the cage has been set up for quite a few hours now. Pretty blank and plain, you can see. Obviously there's water, a couple ropes in the small hammock. Down on the bottom, you can see these dark things. These are little poos, so I'm gonna add in their litter box now. And I'm gonna add it to the corner that I kept it in the other cage. I'm also gonna pick up the poops from the bedding and I'm gonna toss it into the litter pan as another place for them to like hang out, lay down and chill. I added the large Sputnik. This is the size extra large and I didn't put the top on it. So it was really open for them to be able to move in and out freely. We've got this little one already exploring the Sputnik. So this is the current cage with all the added stuff. 
I'm gonna keep them in just a single critter nation for a couple days, perhaps close to a week. And then if they're still doing all right, you know, still moving positively, then I'll add the second cage on top and give them that extra space. So I've literally just hopped out of bed, but the rats have all been in the cage for their first night together. So I wanted to show you exactly where they were all sleeping and hanging out. Up here in the Sputnik, we have Willow and Dumpling. They were having a little snuggle session. Sprout was just roaming about. And then I'm looking for Sage. I'm assuming she's under there. Yeah. All the rats have been together for about three days now and I'm slowly adding some more stuff in. I just put in a double layer hammock and while I was clipping it in, little Sage and Willow both hopped in. Let me show you what the situation is now. We've got Sprout on top, Willow inside, and Sage inside. Originally when I put this hammock into the big girl's cage, they didn't use it for like weeks and weeks. They never touched it. They would always just sleep in their large Sputnik. We've got some demolition happening. I put in a wine bottle cork that I obviously cleaned first. When I put it in, it looked like this. It's now looking like this. All the rats have been combined in this one layer of the Critter Nation for three days now. We're gonna clean out this cage that the little girls were in and then we're gonna put it on top so they have both levels. I'm gonna add in some lava ledges, Sputniks, which are of course their favorite, but I'm keeping everything pretty open. I'm not putting any enclosed igloos that only have one exit. I've slowly been adding more and more things in. I currently don't have any platforms in here to sort of ensure more active layout. But honestly, I just find that whenever there's platforms, the rats always pee on them and it just kind of causes a mess. Sprout is obviously the most dominant one that I have here. So she's typically the one who will start little squeak fights with the little ones. Willow's again, just so adventurous and always wants to get out of the cage whenever possible. Even when I'll have the door open like this, she'll climb on the top and just like escape. Um, as you'll see right now, okay. I guess everyone will just be free, have fun. I want to apologize to you guys who have been, you know, avid viewers and I guess followers of this channel. I'm very sorry that I took a little bit of a break there. I know my videos have come out more sparsely as of recently. It's honestly just because I've been working like full time. I've been doing two jobs and that's taken a lot of my time and energy. So I just want to apologize for that. Definitely feel free to follow my Instagram. I post stories on there and you kind of get like more live updates on me and also the rats. I was posting about their interactions and putting them in the bathtub together and seeing how all that went. So for more frequent updates on the rats, definitely follow me there at Alexandra period Stott. And please comment down below any suggestions you have for video requests. I reply to you guys in the comments and love having chit chats. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.